what is going on? Real Sykes here on another phenomenal day, guys. And how are you freaking doing? Boys and girls, girls and boys, welcome to the video. How are you guys doing on this fantastic day or night or whatever time it is where you live? Hopefully, you guys are having a good day. Unfortunately for me, these past few days have been hell. It's just crazy. Constant tornadoes, hell, 60 mile an hour wind. It has been freaking crazy. But thank the Lord, tonight it is now clearing up. It is good to go. I figured I'd hop on here and get a voiceover recorded for you guys. Guys, before we dive into today's topic, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay in the background. Unfortunately, I choked a 50 kill bomb, but do take in consideration that I don't play Hardpoint or Domination or TDM. I don't play anything else other than SMV. I hopped on Hardpoint, recorded the first game I played, and that's what it was. And I almost choked two swarms. <laughs> that was it's horrible, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that gameplay. But anyway, let's dive into today's topic, which is DLC for all Call of Duties. Now, I'm going to be talking about Black Ops 2 DLC, but this can really go for MW3, MW2, COD4, you know, all of these Call of Duties, Black Ops 1, there is still a community throughout all Call of Duties. Now, Black Ops 2 is a very relevant game, but Ghost is the newest Call of Duty franchise. If you guys are not up to date with what this franchise does, they release a yearly installment of what Call of Duty is. So they'll come out with, you know, Black Ops 2, Call of Duty Ghost, the 2014 Call of Duty. They release these Call of Duties yearly, and then when the new Call of Duty comes out, the previous title stops getting, you know, content produced for it. So they stop coming out with DLC, they start coming out with, you know, add-ons and things like that. They focus on the newer Call of Duty. But now the fact that the games are rotated out, you know, one developer may be Activision, one may be Infinity Ward, and the thing about it is the community is still there for all Call of Duties. There are still tens and thousands and twenty and thousands of people throughout all Call of Duties, which is absolutely ridiculous considering the ages of some of these Call of Duties. There are still thousands of people that play them. I even play Black Ops 1 from time to time. I've popped on Call of Duty 4 a few days ago. I like Call of Duty. All the Call of Duties are amazing. I've always enjoyed every one of them, other than Ghost, by the way. <laughs> but I feel like Black Ops 2 knows what they're doing. The developers for that game, they're like, hey, we still have 60,000 people in the middle of the night playing. There are still hundreds of thousands of people playing during the afternoon. Why not come out with more DLC, more camos, things like that? If you guys follow Black Ops 2 like I do, over the last week or so, they came out with more camos. I think it was about a week ago, a month ago, somewhere around that time. And they came out with more camos. So this weaponized 115 camo and a few others that they had added into the game, and tens of thousands of people have purchased it. Now, I feel like if they were to do the same thing with more maps, more zombie things, I feel like the game is still relevant. And if they were to continue to, you know, release DLC for that game, the game or the community would come back even more than what it is now. So like I said, guys, in the middle of the night, as of me recording that gameplay, there was 60,000 people playing. I feel like if they were to come out with more DLC for the game, there would be 100,000 thousand people in the middle of the night playing, plus more throughout the day and throughout the week and the month. I feel like, you know, the community is still there. I know for a fact it is. Like I said, there are still hundreds of thousands of people that play it. Why not come out with more DLC? That's more money in their pocket, more fun for all of us people who are a fan of the Call of Duty franchise. I, I, I just think that it would be a best bet for the Call of Duty franchise to continue coming out with DLC for these older Call of Duties. The Call of Duty community would stay sticking with that game. For example, Black Ops 2, like I said earlier, the community is still there. Like, they came out with the weaponized 115 camo, and there's so many people I played with that have that damn camo. I don't purchase it, I don't really buy camos all that often, but so many people have that weaponized 115 camo. If they were to come out with a DLC, 20 bucks, that's a staggering amount of money made for them. More fun for us. So anyway, guys, I'm not gonna ramble on throughout this entire gameplay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that gameplay in the background. Like I said, unfortunately, it wasn't a 50 bomb, but it's pretty damn close. I wanted to ask you guys, what DLC would you like to add? into Black Ops 2, no other Call of Duty, but Black Ops 2 in general. More guns, more add-ons, more zombie maps, things like that. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts. I'll take your thoughts and answer them in another video and let you guys know what I think about it. But as always, this is your host, Real Sykes. I will talk to you fantastic people later. Peace.